Hello, uh, it's been a while since the last vlog uh, on this channel. I think the last time I uploaded something was uh, in October maybe. And today is the 31st of December, so the last day of the year 2016. I took this long break for a couple of reasons. Uh, let me explain. I did upload something yesterday, just an archive material, and today I'm recording fresh for the first time in a while. Uh, why? Well, first of all, all my previous vlogs in English were assembled on my old computer, which was terrible, 11 screen inch, 2 gigabytes of RAM, impossible to work. Now I finally purchased a new computer, a second-hand uh, MacBook Air, and while it might not be the fastest computer on the planet, compared to what I had before, it's just a dream to work with, so I'm enjoying assembling these movies all over again. I also got the screen from a friend, so this helps too. So that's the technical reason why I couldn't make any vlogs. But maybe more important reason is this one. Anna? Hmm? Kto to jest? Enzo. Enzo. Look, this is Enzo. My, by now, two months old son. Who was born in October. And I was really busy, so I wasn't shooting any vlogs. This is Enzo's new nanny. She's wonderful. Today is the 31st of December and uh, we are not going to any parties. Uh, we are not joining celebrations on the beach. There will be no fireworks. We are getting in this car, and that's our new car by the way. Well, not our. We decided not to buy a car but to rent a car. That's the old one. So that's our car and we are getting in it and we are going to Bangkok. We'll be <coughs> driving there for two days. Uh, we have some stuff to take care of in Bangkok. We will be taking care of Enzo's passport and all these formalities. So we are leaving Phuket and going north. We'll be stopping on a beach on the way. We are taking my brother who is here with his family and we're gonna celebrate New Year's Eve somewhere there on the way. We are almost ready. My brother's car is here. Our car is packed. The most important package is here. Not very happy. Hannah is here. And this is Mila. Mila is my brother's daughter. And that's my brother's girlfriend, mommy of Mila. Here's my brother coming, dressed up like the Polish national flag. Oh, you're taking my, surf my surfboard? Yeah, no, I'll tie it to you. Oh, okay. I'm vlogging. Yeah, that's that says everything about my brother. <laughs> so funny. You know why? What happened? Before we get on our way, we had to stop for breakfast in a dim sum place. Enzo is hungry. Setting up. So our plan for the New Year's Eve failed completely because the place where we wanted to stay overnight was completely booked. We tried calling in advance but nobody was picking up the phone and when we got there there was no bungalows left. So we are here next to the beach that I showed you on one of the videos. I will link it. Uh, right here and now we're gonna walk down this beach just a few meters back to the place where we're having a little picnic and we don't know what to do next we are an hour away from Phuket but we are actually thinking of continuing up to Bangkok we could go another four five hundred kilometers today and reach we don't know where the problem is we don't know if we'll find a place to stay overnight and we have two kids so it's not as simple as it used to be when we could just go and stop wherever we wanted even sleep in the car as I'm on this very 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 long and empty beach this beach is something like 13 kilometers long basically going forever in that direction and just as far 
in that direction. So I thought it's a good metaphor of 2016, which was a very, very long year. And so much happened. We began this year just like everybody else in January. I think my parents were here in Phuket. Then around April we went to India to Jasmine's uh, hometown. I stayed for around a month, she stayed for three months. We attended uh, Jasmine's brother's wedding, uh, so that was very interesting. In the meantime we found out we will have Enzo. So this definitely was number one topic of 2016. But also we bought a school which we still work hard on making it a success. There was lots of turbulence with my magazine. We changed the name and uh, restructured the whole thing. We expanded the concept, we expanded to other countries. And this is looking very promising. Now I have my family visiting. You saw my brother, but also for the last two months. Uh, my parents were here. They just left like two days ago. We had our first family Christmas, everybody together in something like five years. So despite this being called a uh, terrible year, for us it was, I think, pretty good. Most, of, most importantly, Enzo was born healthy. He's actually too healthy, he's so fat. And uh, on the professional side, everything seems to be working quite well. There are some hopes and some fears, but maybe it will all work out. And another day, another year of life by the beach gone by. And they say that the whole next year will be the same as the last day of the current year. So I guess we'll spend it traveling, going to the beach, eating good food, enjoying company of our friends and family and <clears throat> going towards the unknown because today we get in our car in a moment and we'll be driving up north. We don't know where we'll be sleeping tonight. We don't have anything booked. We are unprepared and we are ready for whatever the road throws, us, throws at us. So yeah, let's get back on the road. We were making really good progress up north from Phuket to Ranong, a town on the west coast of Thailand that we wanted to stay in uh, tonight. But then about one hour from Ranong we, we realized that sunset is almost there and we like to watch the last sunset of each year. And I'm gonna make something. It's almost sunset, isn't it? And I'm gonna make so we decided to stray off, stray off the main road and look for a place where we could enjoy the sunset in some beautiful scenery and look what we found. This is some sort of a national park. I don't know the name of it. We just randomly took a turn to the left, to the west to find a sunset spot and here we are. At the gate to the national park we had to ask the guards to let us in for free because usually foreigners have to pay quite a lot for entrance to national parks and at least 10 times more than Thais. But we asked nicely if we can come in for 10 minutes because it's New Year's Eve and they let us in. So here we are, our first sunset with First New Year's sunset with Enzo. I was shooting a very similar video last year on an island of Kopayam, was it? Yes? No, Kochang. 
which might be one of those there. Oh. It's somewhere there. Oh wow, that's beautiful. What's this? Of course, this turned out to be much less romantic than planned. This fat boy decided it's time to eat more milk. Hannah decided it's time to go to the bathroom. Jasmine decided there is too many mosquitoes. So that's about it for the final sunset of 2016. We'll see where 2017 takes us. We'll definitely not have any more children. But what else? We don't know. Two hours later and we made it to Ranon. And like I said, we haven't booked anything. So we basically found the last open available room in town, in this fairly nasty little guest house, hotel sort of thing. And they are just preparing it, just cleaning it up. It's a very old building, actually with a bit of ambience. Right in the center of nightlife of Ranon. Not that we're gonna enjoy it with two kids, but well, if we could, we would. Here's the room. Welcome to our chambers. Just as Jasmine said, it's very old but it's clean. And it has everything. There's a fridge, a TV, a clean bathroom, air conditioning, and three beds for four people. And it all costs 600 baht. And it's a last minute booking, so... It's okay for a night. We won't complain. So now we only have to stay until up until midnight to celebrate the arrival of the new year. Or not. What more to wish for in the next in the new year? If I got all this.